What's up guys, it's Dan from Homebrew Dax here, and today I'm going to show you how to simply convert your DVD files, um, whether it be recorded or you know, like a movie or something that you have, how to convert them into usable video, like if, if to put on your iPod or use for anything else, um, without even having to download anything. So basically find what you want to want. In our case, this was the uh, mini DVD from our camcorder. Put in your disk drive. And basically what's going to pop up, depending on what you have on your computer, is um, your DVD player. In my case, it's the inner video thing. I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel. And what's going to pop up is the player. But you can't use any of these video files because they're in a DVD format as VOB and IFOs, IFO files. So you can't really use them. They're just going to be able to be watched off of the DVD. Can't be edited, converted, anything. Well, it can be converted, but differently. So this is going to pop up here. So when DVD pops up, <clears throat> we don't need to watch it. So you can just go ahead and exit out of whatever it is. These are the Xbox movies that we are taking. So that'll pop up. But what you want to do is go ahead and open up the folder. And in my case, I've already copied the file off of the DVD because you can't edit the file in there. So you're going to go ahead and open up your folder, and I'll do that now. Okay, so I have the... Uh, the VOB file copied onto the folder that I'm going to use it in and basically it's really simple what you're gonna do right click it and you're gonna rename it now DVD video is based on MPEG2 compression so simply what you want to do is just click so you can leave the dot in there and just put capital NP and 2 um, you can probably just do MPG, lowercase, haven't really tried out the different ones, but MPEG2 is what I want to go with. So you should click and you'll notice the file type will change. So basically it just converted from VOB to MPEG by uncompressing. So you can click on that and play it, and it's just going to open Media Player here. Now there might be a few problems with the file. Um, in my case, this file is not going to have any audio. So, if you want to find just a audio converter, anything that you can put any file in, just get the audio out of it, like an extractor. See, there you go, you got that. So, the file is perfectly fine, but there's no audio. So, what you want to do is find an audio extractor, and a really good one that I use is um, Pinzera. Um, it's a video converter but they also have an audio extractor. You buy the converter suite. Well you don't buy it. It's free download. Um, I'll have a link in the sidebar. Uh, it's Pinzera Video Converter Suite 1.2. You can get that or you can buy or you can download each individual um, converter but I just got the whole thing because I use them all. And down at the bottom, there is an audio and video extractor. I'm not going to show you how to go through all this because you can figure it out on your own. But basically, you just import the VOB file, put your output settings, and you should have the audio. So find just like Windows Movie Maker or something, put the video f stream in, put the audio stream in, render them. So that is basically how you want to convert your uh, DVD files off of any movie or recorded DVD like um, mini DVD works with both so um, follow us on Twitter links at the bottom of this video here and in the sidebar comment rate and subscribe for more videos uh, and we'll see you next time thanks for watching